Hello amigos, how is everybody doing? I hope you are great. My name is Enrique and on this video we're going to speak about aspect ratio. As you can probably tell from my last video, I shoot it all the same with the same camera, same resolution, but I change one thing. I allowed it to YouTube at a two by one aspect ratio. Normally the videos that come out of your camera, cell phone and everything like that comes out of a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And this is great if you want to enjoy the content in a normal computer screen, a normal television or anything like that. But let's be honest, guys. Most of the people that watch content here in YouTube, they watch it on their cell phones. And the cell phone screens are wider as a normal TV or as a normal computer monitor right there. So why is this important for you guys? Well, as you can probably say, if you watch videos, for example, of a Marquez Brownlee or LTT, Linus Tech Tips, you have noticed that they also started to use this resolution. This is important and a good thing to do because you are going to fill up even more the screen of your telephone. Let's take a look at this. Right now, we are on the two by one aspect ratio and this is what the video look at the normal aspect ratio of 16 by nine. It's a big change when you can fill up more of that screen. The people is going to watch, enjoy it more. The people is going to be able to look the things bigger on their screens. So we don't need to speak anymore. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and then let me show you how you can do it too. So guys, right now we're going to Premiere Pro and what you want to do right now is to go into File, New, Sequence. I don't care what you have here. The most important, you go into Settings and you want to change the frame size to 3840 by 1920. And this is going to give you the two by one resolution, uh, aspect ratio. Click OK. This is the sequence that you're going to have now. I'm going to import a couple of videos. One of those, uh, where are you? One of those in 4K, and the other one in 1080p, so you can see what it is look, going to look around when you're editing your video on this aspect ratio. Now, the 4K, when this, uh, I'm sorry, when this come, only keep uh, keep in settings. You don't want to change the sequence settings. This is what we want to do it. We want to make it different. And as you can see, fills up all the screen. You can even so in here, move it around the position to center a little bit more and put it wherever exactly where you want, it's going to look great. And if you want to export, you want to use a 1080p footage, it's going to look like this. So what are you going to do with this? Well, you're going to scale, set it into 200%. Now it's filling up all the street, all, all the screen. You can also move it around like before. And guys, let me tell you something. Right now, because of all of the compression that YouTube doing to your videos, it really doesn't matter if you shoot a video in 1080p and then you upload it to YouTube into 4K mode. This is what I'm doing for my last videos and I think the quality is to look great. This is what I'm doing for this video right here. So tell me in the comments down below, what do you think this video looks like? The quality is good or not? Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is the export settings that I go. So we go to File, Export Media. And I already have here one preset that is called Custom 2x1. And as you can see right here, what I have it set it on is, this is the resolution that we speak about before, the 2x1 aspect ratio. Of course, render a maximum depth. The profile into high 10. The level 5 to 1, 5.1. And the most important setting that you can change is right here, the bitrate settings. I have mine set to CBR and the target bitrate at 90. 90, 90 or 100 is what you can set. But think about that. This is going to give you really light, this is going to give you really large file size. For example, this video that it will only be three minutes and 23 seconds, it will be around 2.2 gigabytes big. And this is everything that you have to do for the tutorial. I want that you guys check it out, that you try it out for your videos. And I think 
This is going to improve how your video looks, especially because of most of your users, most of your subscribers use the cell phone to watch the videos. So guys, what do you think of the tutorial? I think it's really simple and it's going to give a different look to your videos and it's going to look great. So tell me in the comments down below if you are going to try them, if you're going to use it. I want to check your videos out. I want to see how they look like. Now, let's take a look at what you write at me on the last video. Matthew Calardio Music. Man, you have to check it out. If you're a gamer and you enjoy music, check this guy out. He makes incredible covers of mostly Nintendo games, but they are simply great. He writes, Number three is a big one for me. It's hard work to put out quality content, but very rewarding. I'm glad to see your channel continue to grow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for still being here. And yeah, I also struggle with this, especially without having time. But it's better like this. It's better that the people wait a little bit longer, but that you put really good quality videos. And your videos are really great quality. Now, my friend Udu, I think 80% of my subscribers are fake. I hate YouTube politics. Probably I will not say fake, but most of the people I think they watch one of your videos and then subscribe and they forget about you. They don't look anymore or your content doesn't interest them. I don't know what happens, but it's like this, what you can do. Another one here, Dave the Unshave, a really cool name you have there. Uh, you have some good points, sir. Soap for soap is trash. Usually it's a scam from my experience. Soap for soap is the worst thing that you can do. Only if you enjoy the other pe pe person content, I can understand it because you watch each other, but only so because you want to win some subs, isn't worth it, really. And another one, I'm maybe going to cut it a little bit because it's really long. Every time you write longer and longer. Mix Lodi. Nice LED lighting setup. I think you mean this one right here, the lights right there. This is the Philips uh, Hue. I probably will make a review about it. They're a really good system. Uh, great tips. Yeah, so for soap is a problem. I use in my channel to cheat, meet cool people, and also to learn about YouTube. This is why when I find a channel that I really like, such as your channel, oh, thank you about that. I participate, I watch, for example, a video full length because I want to watch it, not for analytics purpose, like most of for sub. And often you will see that they only watch a few seconds of the video. This is true, man. I, I have lots of people that ask me all the time, hey, subscribe to my channel, hey, come to look to my videos. And, and probably I will check them out, why not? But I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I don't enjoy your content, it's not the content that I used to watch, and that I enjoy, I'm not going to subscribe to you only because you subscribe to me. I want that you guys, if you subscribe to me, it's because you are enjoying and you're liking this channel and these videos. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to make a couple of changes in the channel. Uh, probably will make a video about this in the future. I want to make a schedule where I make one day a week or two days a week at the same time, every time the videos are not like this, that one video here, one video there, one video there, because it's a, it's a mess right this. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already, man. You really will help the channel out. And like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.